Piss. Oh. So the Shaw Classic, day one, 2022, results. We didn't get to do a prediction video because... No. Because... Because... Just, we're here to tell you the day one results. So this year, they're after going on a different route to what they did the last couple of years, and that they gave a live stream. Yes, which was awesome. I think they finally listened to us. Yeah, yeah, they did a great thing. Every, they, what, did they use some other platform, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, they probably paid them to stream it, which was a great idea, in my Be opinion. Better investment, yeah. considering last year you had to wait about 24 hours. It was weird. Last, yeah. last year was very weird. So. so, however, this year we're actually back to the normal way we actually see mm. Strongman shows, live streamed. Uh, and we have the last year's reigning champion yes. in first place after day one. Novico and Mitchell leading with the same points yeah. after day one. Yeah, Crazy things going on. Uh -huh. New world record. New world record for Novikov. The Novikov. Novikov is just, uh, he's wired differently. He is. He's, I don't know how he consistently does it mm. on a day-in, day-out basis when it comes yeah, to A week to ago, he was competing in Giants Live. Last week, he pulled 425 yeah. kilos. This week, he pulls over 500. 550. <laughs> 549, <laughs> to be exact. Absolutely crazy, it's considering insane. his age, what, 26? 26, 26, 26 years yeah. of age. Yeah. Oh my god, incredible. Yeah. Like he had the best approach to this kind of deadlift. Yeah. He has the best technique. Uh, very narrow uh, stance. Yeah, very narrow stance. I don't know why other guys are not using the same sort of technique. Mm. Because his first two lifts actually were harder than his uh, world lift, yeah. uh, record lift, you know. It has to do with his stance, you know, like, and the more weight they add on, the easier the it is for him. Easy it is for yeah. him. Actually, Adam Bishop has know? the same yeah. technique. Very, yeah, very narrow stance. Exactly the same technique. Yeah. Incredible, incredible. Yeah, if you put that technique into onto like um, stiff bar, I, like it's it's it won't be the same. You no. won't be able to pull the same. Not weight, not so. a hope. Not a hope. Like we were saying, we didn't actually do a predictions video, but we're here to tell you the eight events mm -hmm. over two days of this year's Shaw Classic. So the first four events on yeah. day one: a max deadlift with yeah. Hummer tires. We had the bag over bar, which had eight implements. The mm -hmm. super yoke and a dumbbell press. And a dumbbell press, yeah. yeah. So, the, like we were saying, the max deadlift, we've seen a new world mm. record. Uh, that record was done, wasn't it? JF Caron owned that record from last year. Yeah. Yeah, with, with this exact setup, you know. So, and Novico were able to just uh, annihilate. Yes, pretty much. He's you know? so good when it comes to, yeah. to a higher deadlift, as you want to call it, like, you know, like the 18 inch deadlift, mm -hmm. whatever the, to want to call it. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. Yeah. You've had experience with the Hummer tires before. Yeah, I had experience. I pulled 506 kg, but the, I, I was exactly the way, like, uh, standing the way, like Novico was. Mm. Like, narrow stands and just uh, slightly wider grip. Yeah, sl slightly uh, narrower grip. Actually. A narrower grip, sorry. A narrower grip, yeah. The other guys. A uh, different approach. Benya was thinking to break a record, and he was confident that he will. But he was standing way too too wide. He's he's he, doing like yeah. like a normal deadlift. Yeah, like yeah. loads of guys were standing really wide, and then if you stand wide, it's just you're adding more leverage. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's just it's like I think Novikov has it down to a T. Yes. Yeah. So we only had two people pull over 500 kilos, mm -hmm. and that was Gabriel Pena who mm -hmm. lifted 522, and then obviously Alexei Novikov with 549. Yeah. Uh, everyone else broke the 400s basically mm -hmm. in nearly some of them close to 500 like Trey Mitchell 499 kilos yeah so very close to the 500 Trey looks massive yeah he looks very big Trey like we always said he's just a unit he's he is a, a unit he's just yeah. a unit the like, only problem is like and we'll see this year it's his grip grip that's, that's it, it yeah uh, apart from that i think he's well around he's a future wall strongest man if he can just start the grip yeah 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 so after the first event anyway which is the max deadlift we we're on to the second event of the day which is the bag over bar mm -hmm. so it was eight implements yeah ranging from 22 kilos to 29 kilos over a four and a half meter bar very standard stuff yeah it's considering i think the 29 is actually heavier for a bag yeah it's coming to the heavier side the of the height bag. was what four and a half meters yeah yeah so it's it's not it's not five meters four and a half meters it's it's a uh, it's a good height and yeah. and Brian I, I he did such a phenomenal job but he was a little bit slow and Mitchell just yeah. just destroyed it you know so there's only two people actually yeah, finishing it. So who finished it. Trey, Trey Mitchell and Brian Shaw two of them only finishing the eight bags yeah. but Brian 
that was his thing, isn't it? The cake toss and the bag over bag. He always was very good with yeah. this event. Good just, leverages for just it. the fact that he's six foot eight as well. Yeah. It helps him a lot. That time could have been beaten by um, Boudreau. Boudreau seven bag. Yes, yeah, thirteen right? So Boudreau made a couple of crucial uh, mistakes. Yeah, and he went really fast, and a couple of like bags went up in the air. It didn't go over the bar, so they landed back. He had to repeat it, and by the he he he. He did way more, like three or four more throws than he than he needed. He, yeah, than yeah. he needed, yes. Yeah. So, so he wasted a lot of energy, and that's where it cost him first place, pretty much. Yeah. So, like you were saying, only two people actually finished it. We had Maxim Bedro getting yeah. seven, and then we had the likes of Alexei Novikov, Bobby Thompson, mm-hmm. Janashi all getting six bags. But like you were saying, it is on the heavier side for yeah. uh, for an event like that, considering you only had the max deadlift on the same day. So, a very very much, tiring. Yeah. It was very tiring, but it's it's to me it's still a, a not the heavy event. Like it's really like your nervous system is already shut down after the heavy deadlifts, and yeah. that event is kind of like more explosive event. So it's it it evens out in a way, you know. Yeah. So like you're saying, it wasn't a heavier event. No. But now we're on to a really heavy event: five hundred and six kilo super yoke yeah. on a twenty meter course. Yeah. Very, very heavy when it comes to super yoke. Yep, very heavy. You love the super yoke? I did love this. Super. <laughs> Up to 600, I love it. Over 600, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Too much compression, in my opinion. Uh, so, so many uh, sleepless nights. Yes, so many sleepless nights after like carrying 600 kilos yeah. on your back. And uh, it seemed Mitch Hooper was the winner of this event. Yeah, nearly breaking destroyed 10 seconds. Destroyed the course. Yeah. Destroyed the course. Something happened to his right leg straight after it. Yeah. He was complaining. I thought it's something serious, but uh, it doesn't. It, it seems like he's, he's fine. You know, just yeah. maybe a slight cramp after carrying such a big weight so fast. So uh, he was the clear winner, you know. Yeah, he was the same and world's strongest man with the knack, mm-hmm. the knack super yoke, but, mm-hmm. but basically just two massive boxes. Uh, same idea, he was just incredible at the Super Yoke. Uh, I think there was multiple people broke 20 seconds, yeah. but he was actually nearly breaking 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. Just shows how quick he was. Novikov is good, like, Novikov is just overall, he's very good. Like, he never was known for very fast Super Yoke. Like, maybe if it was 450 kilos, yeah. he would be fast, but anything over 500, it's too, too it, much. It's too much, but uh, his time was still good enough to place him very high in this event, you know. So, talking about Alexei Novikov, then we're going on to the fourth and final event yeah. of the first day, which is an event that he took in a mm-hmm. stride, which is the dumbbell press. So, it's a 110 kilo dumbbell press, as many reps as possible in 75 seconds. Yes, and he was the favorite to win this event yeah. because he, at this point he's probably the best dumbbell press in the yeah. world. Is he going Maybe to? apart from Mateusz when he's in shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately he can't compete this year. The same like Litzis. Yeah. Uh, it would have it would have been nice to see Mateusz and Litzis compete in yeah. show classic, you know. And uh, a big big one was that Tom couldn't come either, you know. Yeah. So, but Tom he posted a video on his YouTube channel explaining why he couldn't come and it's yeah. to do with his condition like autism and. It's understandable, you yeah, know. Yeah, it is. It, it's it's a horrible like it, it's a horrible reason that you can't be there. Yeah. But look, it's just life. Like we were saying before, yeah. there's strong men and strong men, but you have life outside the strong yeah. man, and sometimes life just yeah. Just even considering away. his condition, he's like two times in a row now world strongest man. Yes. It's insane, like unbelievable. Yeah. So he probably he's, he's finding very hard to compete like uh, like Novikov does, yeah. you know. So he pick, pick, picks and chooses his competition, which is which is fine. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah, just like it, but talk about Tom then as, a, as well, like Luke. So Luke Stallman had to pull out after the bag over bar. He didn't attempt yeah. to max deadlift. No. So then he withdrew. Stallman brothers, unfortunately, they would have mm. been great if they had been saying fighting shape. Yeah. And they had actually two of them could have been there, but look, not this year. Maybe next year we'll see it. Yeah. So as well as Luke Stallman withdrawn from the competition, we had we had three athletes that didn't complete the dumbbell press. That's Big Z, Jerry Pritchard, and Gabriel Pena. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, we see them in the second day. That doesn't affect them for the log lift. On the first day, you kind of—I uh, I was kind of expected uh, to see these guys who are at the top now. Like I know that Mitchell uh, have good deadlift, uh, good uh, bag over bar, good like dumbbell, like pretty much good at everything. The same like Novikov. Yeah. But then second day, that's Correct. where I think gonna be really, and I hope it will be a little bit more like unpredictable in a way, yeah. you know. Especially with these, uh, with that leg press, let's say, and and medley. Yeah, medley. Yeah, the, these two events will change the standing. Like it's just the fact that the last year Mitchell lost so many points on that medley. You know, yeah. arm up or over arm and uh, uh, the frame carry, right? Yeah. So he's 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 
it's a lot of grip. It's all grip, pretty much. And Novikov doesn't have any sort of issues when it comes to grip. So I think Novikov will get a lot of points. And Mitchell, if his grip didn't improve, he will lose a good bit of points. So That's this year's Shaw Classic 2022, day one. So we have Trey Mitchell and Alexei Novikov tying for first place at 54 points each. And we have Mitchell Hooper in third place at 45 points. Like you were saying earlier, the second day is going to be a toss-up. We don't know what way it's going to end up especially with all the grip events and everything. So if you haven't already, please press the like button if you've liked this video. Same thing again as always, if you're new to the channel, please press the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, please press the bell icon, it'll keep you up to date with everything that's Lattice Brothers. Uh, we'll be posting a video again tomorrow yep. on day two. Uh, let us know in the comment section below what you think of the competition so far, what you think is a live stream. Can, yeah, can, who do you have winning or yeah. even top three? Yeah, so basically whatever you want to comment below, anything at all, yeah. we actually like replying to the comments uh, especially when we're watching the competition as well it keeps us up to date and it gives us more information the amount of times that we've gotten information that we never knew of yeah. the competition it's crazy so don't be afraid to comment it's like always we don't judge just comment below we'll get back to you we love interacting with the subscribers but like always we'll see you in the next video which is probably going to be tomorrow will be tomorrow yeah, yeah. so Shaw Classic Day 2 upcoming see you in the next video see you later